The More Show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. If you like what you watch, then don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates on The More Show. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new weekly television and radio shows. The More Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. The comments and views expressed on The More Show are those of the people that make them and do not necessarily reflect the view of Kevin Moore, The More Show, or this radio station and its affiliate or sponsors. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Broadcasting live from the UK and across the world online, you're now listening to the UK's only live alternative late night talk show, and I'm Kevin Moore. For the next three hours, I'll be covering subjects that will open up your mind and provide you with information you may have never heard before. On tonight's show, I'll be joined by Andrew West, who has turned his life around from being a bankrupt to owning one of the world's top 20 health retreats in Spain. He will be sharing his methods to take control of your life and see the changes you've always wanted. On the second half of the show, I'll be speaking to Eugene Barrickston, a near-death experience researcher, who claims that he has discovered the new near-death revelations, from which the world authorities have been waiting for. But first, let's speak to Andrew West, owner of Obsidian, one of the world's top 20 health retreats. From finding no true purpose in life, Andrew now helps individuals from all over the world by sharing his methods in taking control of your life and your health. To coming off medications with his four-point program involving diet, exercise, education, and mindset at a spiritual level. He strongly believes that if you don't change your thoughts, nothing will change. Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning. Right, Andrew, well, let's get straight into it. Um, Firstly, uh, just tell us a bit about your background. Okay. Um, well, I used to be, uh, I was in the police for, for 16 years. Um, I got to the rank of, of police inspector. Um, and then I, I, in 2000, I was ill, um, suffered illness for a couple of years. Um, left, got out of there. Um, with my wife, Carol, we, we, we got involved and we bought a business and we, we started running that and built that up. Um, that didn't end too well, um, and, and, and out of that, you mentioned earlier on about in relation to, to bankruptcy, we were insolvent and bankrupt with it. Um, very briefly, we sort of got, we started getting more and more interested in health type matters. That brought us over to Spain, and and, and now we we now run a 26 bedroom um, health retreat in Spain. So that's a very very quick summary. Okay, okay. So now the uh, now okay, let's go straight into the health retreat then. Um, okay. Now uh, just explain a bit about the the health retreat and what what makes it uh, uh, you know one of the world's um, what, what top 20 health retreats. Yeah, I, I think what what it, 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 it it's down to we 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 primarily see people who come in um, well with some kind of illness or because they've got weight they they want to lose so those, they're the sort of main target groups although we have a lot of other people come to us as well and we we set up a, a four point program it wasn't designed like that way to start with it's what sort of evolved into it. And so what we do is we target um, diet, we target exercise, um, we do education, and then we, we really work on, on, on the mindset and, and, and um, the people's energies and thoughts behind things. And what we find by doing that and, and putting the four together, we get really, really fantastic results, um, which... It's not only great for them, but it also helps us as a you know, it's helped us grow very, very quickly as as a business. Um, so we have a lot of people. I mean, sixty percent of our bookings now are either people returning or their recommendation. So it, it, it's it's obviously a testament to how well that it's working. 
Okay, okay. Now you we we mentioned in your bio as well that you um you know, you help find you help people find their true purpose. Um, yeah, in, that, that, in, in that's life. A- is is that something that happens when they come to you and stay with you for 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 their period? You know that they've booked in, or or, or, or just tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, that, that, well, it can be, it can be then, it can it can be afterwards. One of the things that we find, I mean, one of the first things that we do is is is, is that we help people to to cleanse. Um, now, you know, the, the word detox gets used often, and, and, and it has some, sometimes some bad connotations with it, but generally what it is about is, is removing the toxins out of the body. We do that by giving them healthy, nutritious juices and, and food and um, plenty of water. And, and, and we don't serve, I mean, the, the, the main thing behind the diet is we don't serve any meat, any dairy, uh, we don't serve any tea, coffee, any alcohol, We're just removing anything that's sort of acidic from the, from the body. What people find is after two days, three days, and they may go through the first few days, may go through a few headaches and things like that, but then what they start to find is is that they start to not only have more energy, but one of the most common things that people say is that they can think more clearly. And when they can start to think more clearly, suddenly a fog starts to lift and they start to look at all sorts of other aspects in their life. That then opens up other things for them. Sometimes they want to talk about it where they are. We have coaches on hand so that they can. They can have private sessions or they can have group sessions. And, and Or sometimes it's when they go home. But it's not unusual at all for people to suddenly say, you know what, a couple of months after I left you, I, I changed my job. Or, or in some cases where they've changed their relationships and things like that. Things that have been going on in their life that they were bogged down with they couldn't see actually by cleansing the diet it helped to, to cleanse the mind, which then helps to, to, to clear other areas in their life. So was this a process that you yourself had to go through? I mean, you ch- did you change your diet, for example, and you, know, you got into all this work and you discovered that certain foods and certain additives were, were causing you to not you know, think so clear and you, what, you became more spiritual from the change of, of, of diet? Yes, yes, very, yeah. I mean... Um, if somebody had said to me, um, say six and a half, seven years ago, if somebody had said to me that I would, would um, let alone eat a vegan diet, um, but would be even more so even run a, a health retreat doing it, I would have said that they were absolutely mad. I, I couldn't see any point at all or why I would want to do such sort a of thing. Now, the changes, and I often talk about this to people, the changes were gradual. They weren't overnight. We kept changing bits to our diet and noticing, first of all, noticing the health side of it, but also noticing on, a, on an energetic and a spiritual level that, that things, other things started to change. Um, but the way people viewed, viewed me was different. The way I viewed myself was very, very different. And, and what you suddenly find is, is, is that you become, you become very enthused by that. Um, you know, you want to pass the message on to more and more people because you you, you want to help them in, in any way that you can. It's not always welcome, I have to say. And you learn after a while. We often say that to people who come to us because we have a lot that leave who who sort of almost want to go out and, and change the world. And we do say to them, look, you know, you're going to take a little while with it because not everybody may be ready for your message that you've got yet. Okay, so. When uh, were you a smoker before as well, or was it just diet you changed? Or no, it was just it was just diet. Just um, diet and, yeah. I, and I drank a fair bit. Not not. Yeah. I mean, at, uh, well, I suppose at my peak of drinking, I was up to a sort of bottle bottle, bottle and a half of wine a night. So it was a considerable amount in, in in that. Yeah. Um, did Did you ever think social. you'd go on the path of helping people like you are? No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't think that was. Uh, I, if, if you'd have seen me and, and, and my health, I definitely wouldn't have been the person to, to have done it. It's something that's just, just evolved. That's what, what it has. And I mean, I, I now look back and think, no, actually, it was, it was my path, our path to do that. But it, it, um, I didn't think that at the time. Okay. So you say, uh, you, you, you know, you've, we've mentioned as well that you, you class yourself as, uh, as spiritual. Um, what... What does that do for your work, would you say? I mean, is it hand in hand? It is hand in hand. Um, it, it's something we, we, and I say we because there's a team of us now and I employ and, and you know, several coaches and things like that. 
and, and, and we, we often talk about it because it, it, it's, it's to what level that people are comfortable. The, our, our target market, in actual fact, isn't um, the extremes. Where normally retreats are, ours isn't, isn't there. We, we actually go for the, um, our, our average client age is, is 45, um, and, 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 we, and they come from all sorts of walks of life, and if we were to hit them with a, a, a spiritual message from the start, I think it would scare quite a lot off, as, as it is. A change of diet, you know, is, is, is worrying enough for them. But what we all say is this stuff goes on, whether you whether you like it or whether you don't, and whether you know behind it, it's, it's totally hand in hand with it. And so we often talk about it. And then if guests want to talk about it, then we talk about it as well. Um, but we don't, um, it's not forced upon them. We we want to make it as accessible to, to, to people. We, we, we have a motto, and, and, and our, our motto literally is, there is another way. And I always say to people, when the moment they come through the door, and I say it when they're leaving, look, our aim isn't to turn you into being vegans or vegetarians. It's not to change you in any path or anything at all. It's just for you to have the knowledge that there is another way of doing things for you then to decide if that's what you want to do with your life. Okay. So let's just go through some of the points um, uh, of the change that you went through. Let's just, let's just get back to you here a bit, actually. Okay, um, no what, what change Once you could say that you became more spiritually uh, awake as such, what, were, what, what, did, what process did you go through and, and, and where are you now? I'm still on the journey, um, as I think we all are. Um, what changes did I go through? I think I became more aware of things. First of all, I became more aware. When you start to eliminate um, particularly animal products from your, from your diet, and we did it to start with, and we always said to people, look, again, we, we, we've done it purely for health reasons. It's not for anything, any other connection reason or anything like that. But actually, you become more and more aware of issues with animals, with plants, with, 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 with the world. You, it just makes you sort of more and more open to things. But you don't notice that to start with. That's something that just sort of starts to happen. I suppose you start to, spot, you start to notice more news items and things. Then you find your associations that people that you mix with. You notice that they start to change, and you notice their, the different energy levels that they are, they are running at. Um, and, and then, as, as I say, I mean, I, I got into meditation. Um, I trained a couple of years ago in, in yoga. I, I run yoga classes at the retreat. It, 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 so it's, it's all sorts of different things that if you'd again you said to me a few years ago I'd just said well that's just not me I, I, I can't do that kind of thing um, and so it, some of it is on a, on a um, very much on a base level the, the factual things from there but as I say behind that the spiritual level is, is the connection and the connection that you get with particularly with other people Okay, so it's, it's more of a connection to what that we are all one we are all connected in some way uh, yes. That, yes. That, that that you know, loving ourselves is is an important part of the process. Yes, absolutely. That's the very big part of it. In fact, that is absolutely key key to it. Um, I was watching. I was watching, watching the Jonathan Ross show the other day, and Francesca Martinez was was on there. Who's the the comedian with um, cerebral palsy? And she turned around and said that the most important lesson that she learned or the most important words that she learned was, I like myself. She said how much it changed her life. That we deal with on an absolute every single day basis. But we have to help them. And by the first thing is, is actually loving other people. And the thing you said in the fact that we are all connected is absolutely the thing. But my, my, my concern if you like, is, is that unfortunately with the, the, the diet as it is and with the, um, with the world as it is, with the TV, with the internet and everything else on there, is, is that many, many people are, are really in a fog. So they're not aware of the connection and they're not aware of, of, of even that there's, there's life going on around them. And, and this is one of the things, again, that when you start to cleanse your diet, it really, really starts to change at an energetic level um, the connection that you then can have, not only in your own family, but around your work colleagues, but also with the rest of the world. It, it changes everything. 
Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, how, how, how you know, yeah, respecting your body more with what you put in it actually allows you to have that uh, that deeper connection w w with life and back back with yourself. But um, oh, do you know, there's questions whizzing all over my head right now, but uh, <laughs> nothing no nothing's coming to, coming straight to mind. But um, um, the the effect of cleansing the body at a cellular level then is. And its impact on everything in your life. I mean, that's what we're really saying, isn't it? Yes, we are. Yes, the, yeah. the, it, it is that. It, 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 at a cellular level, um, that, that's why. So, from the basics, is why we give, we give people um, juices, and the juices are made up of, of, of fruits and vegetables. Um, you put them in; they, they're natural source. They, they, they within twenty minutes of you, consuming them, they spread round at, at a cellular level all around the body. Your body becomes more alive. If your body becomes more alive, everything else energetically has to come more alive as well. It's, it's, you know, it's all, we're all connected with it—the mind, body, spirit. As you know, we're all connected. So it all has to become. Um, this, this connection becomes better and, and, and you you start to become more aware. And that's the clearest words that I say, is your awareness wow. just starts to grow. And, and do you think, I mean, for someone like myself, um, who uh, who is a, a meat eater, um, do you... I'm just going to have to excuse the phone in the back there, they're just going off. Uh, but, but someone that's a meat eater, does that make you more unspiritual? Do you, uh, is it, I mean, is that what you're... There's two opposites. No, I'm not. I'm not. Not necessarily with that. I mean, I we we often get into big debates about whether we should be meat eaters or whether whether we shouldn't or we not. And and some people would say that you know that there's an issue in relation to how animals are killed and 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 the, and the effect that that has on us when when we're eating them. But it's not. It's not just that level. We've got everything else that's going on. I mean, particularly now, so with um, with processed foods. And particularly now with, with so much more toxins, not only in the foods, but also in the environment. We, we've got all these different things that are affecting us. One, the one thing I always turn around and say in relation to, to, to meat is, I say that there's two things that I'm sure of. I've said I'm sure that we were never meant to eat the amount of meat that we now eat, where people are having it for breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. And I said the second thing that I'm definitely sure of, we were never meant to eat the poor quality of meat that we are now eating. Now, that really is starting to have an effect on people. Okay. And, and, and if you look, you, know, you look at the illness rates and the things that go, and the amount of links that nice. are coming out with it. And what is also interesting is, 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 is if you look at the different associations, there was a thing that came out only last week about heart disease, yep. and, and the, the advice that was given was said, um, you know, that people should eat a, a very high plant-based diet with a small amount of meat and a small amount of dairy. And they said, that's what we bought, the advice we've always given, you know, eat lots of vegetables and a little bit of fruit. Now, that isn't actually the advice that's always been given. It's that's changing towards it. They're changing the wording of it. I'm very encouraged by it. Yes. But, but that's, you know, it, 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 the things that have been shown. So not, that's, that's on a health point of view, but it has to have an effect on everything else as well. Absolutely. Well, we've, uh, I believe, uh, we've got a caller on the line. Um, caller, are you there? Uh, I'm here. Ah, okay. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, now, this is my friend, everyone, Donald, uh, I believe. Is that, Don that, that is Donald, isn't it? <laughs> this is Donald, and am I your very first caller? You are our very first caller. Welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to, to have you here. So, Donald, what's your question, please? Well, I completely agree with Andrew about the importance of, of liking yourself and loving yourself. But... Um, but Kevin asked Andrew, you, uh, Andrew, Kevin asked you uh, to tell more about yourself and your, your journey and your story. And uh, I, I wish you, uh, you sort of kind of got off subject there. I'd like to hear more about that. What exactly uh, was your journey, uh, physically, uh, food-wise, and uh, emotions, uh, your journey to self-love? Okay, yeah, uh, thank you for that question, Donald. Yeah, I'm probably sorry I went off track with that. Um, okay, and, well, the, 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 there's quite a journey for this. So it's just, it, it is quite a story. Um, as I say, I, I was in the police, and um, I, was, I was a police inspector, and I was doing very well, and um, my, my plan for, for life was that I, I was going to do, um, at that time, you, you knew you'd do 30 years in the police. I'd done... 
15, 16 years. I knew I'd got about 14, 15 years to go. I planned to become a, I wanted to become a superintendent. They get a very, very good pension uh, and retire at the age of 51. And that was all my plan was. Um, then I was diagnosed with having ME, which is now known sort of as chronic fatigue and other things like that. Um, and, and that doesn't have to be the, you know, the, the, the whole thing in relation to retiring and things like that. I actually got back to work. Um, I, it took me about six, seven months to get back to work. And um, then I had a breakdown. Literally, I just couldn't, suddenly couldn't face anything. I, and I, and I, I went into, I also was a bit of a silly place for a time where I, I wouldn't answer the phone, I wouldn't talk to anybody. And the police were very good to me and, 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 and they, 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 they let me go. Um, at that time, my, my, the rest of my health wasn't particularly good either, and I was um, quite a bit overweight, um, probably in the relation to uh, about three or four stone overweight, which is about you know, 35, 40 pounds, something like that. Um, my diabetes runs in my family. My, my, my dad's been a diabetic for many, many years, and I went to the doctors and I was told that I was a pre-diabetic and that it was sort of expected that I would go down the same line. And I can remember just asking myself the, um, just asking yourself this question, I wonder if it has to be that way. And that was all the question was. It was nothing more than that. Not really thinking about anything about changing, changing my diet. And um, Carol, my wife, she was also a similar weight to me, and she was having all sorts of, of stomach problems. Now, the, 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 the irony is we, we both went, we went to an event. Um, Tony Robbins, a big American guru, we had an event in London. We went to his event. Uh, three days was great. We, we walked over hot coals. We did all sorts of great things. And on the fourth day, a gentleman stood up on stage, and he talked to us about health, and he literally lectured us. And he turned around and said, you all need to give up meat. You need to give up dairy. You need to stop drinking alcohol. And he really, really annoyed me, and to the point where I said to Carol, I took her by the hand and said, come on, we are leaving. And literally, and this is an absolutely true story, we went into London, we went to Leicester Square, we went to an Italian restaurant, I ordered a steak and a bottle of red wine, and I literally raised the glass and said, up yours if you think you're telling me how to change my <laughs> life, run my life. Yeah. Um, what happened then was, um, about four or five months down the line, Carol was, had all sorts of stomach problems, and... Um, Right, well, if we the could just, if Andrew, we're just going to have to hold it there because we're just coming up to an ad break. We'll be right back yeah, with no you. Yeah, no problem at all. Please stay tuned. Thank you. The Moore Show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. Visit themoreshow.co.uk forward slash shop to purchase products and services from your favourite past guests. If you're new to this site, you can also catch up on the previous television and radio shows through YouTube and the More Show website. The More Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. Broadcasting from the studios of Radio Cardiff, you're now watching The More Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm currently joined with uh, Andrew West. Andrew, are you still there? I'm still here, yeah. Excellent, Andrew. Yeah, um, as we were talking just before the break there, um, yeah, you were d explaining your journey and everything. Um, yeah. Do, do you know what? It's something interesting you said, actually, be before. we. we um, I mean, I think we've really covered... We, we, we haven't... We've. We're not going to go back into that just right now. I I just want to want to want to kind of move forward here, things forward here a bit, and yeah, no problem. You, you know, um, when did you find the the that you had love for yourself? When when did this self love kick in? Then is that when your life changed? Basically, uh, you know, put the, putting the diet to one side. Yes, yes, it did. Yeah, when when um, when I I um, well, well, when I really stopped. Um, Kicking myself and, and criticizing myself and, and considering myself a, a, a failure and, and, and all those sort of things. Now, now I have to say, you know, I'll put a proviso in there that those sort of things still come up um, on a regular basis and, 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 and um, 
have to face them. You know, you have to go through things and think, wow, you know, how did I, what did I, how did I deal with that? What did I actually do? Um, and, and, and look at things. But what I find is that I can, I can now process things much, much quicker. Um, so when I do have issues coming up, I, I look at them and I start to, I start to ask questions. And one of the questions that I, that I, I so often ask now is um, either what is the learning out of that or, or not necessarily why has that happened, um, but what is that going to lead to? Because if you suddenly think, look at it from the other side, because again, each of the things you say without going back over them, each of the, the, the really bad or difficult times in, in, in my life has always led on to something that in the end has turned out to be quite amazing. So it's, it's, it's those sort of things, but the self-love that comes with that is, 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 is this um, being able to accept yourself in, in what you do yeah. and, um, and, and, and how you do things. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, you know, it seems, to, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people on this uh, this whole issue of um, of self-love, and it seems to be one of the main things that we come to planet Earth to do as well. Um, you know, it's just the opinion of the, con- the sort of consensus, in a sense, of, of, of those that I've spoken to. But uh, um, it just seems that you seem to have a place where of, of souls coming in to, to relearn that as well in, in, in the place that you've set up. Yes. Yes, I, I, I would agree with that. And I, I think that's why we have so many people that, that keep, keep returning. I think that was just one of the things that actually quite shocked me with, with, with the business was that I, I expected to get people coming in. I thought they'd come in. They would, you know, hopefully get themselves into a good place. I, I wasn't in doubt that that would happen. But actually for them to keep keep returning, you know, some, some people come back six, seven, eight times a year. Come wow. back to us. And, and one of the reasons that they say about that is, is about um, the energy of the place and also about how they, they, they feel about themselves when, when, when they're there. So I think that's, you're quite right with that. We, we, are, we do help. And, I, and I, I agree totally with what you said. That is our purpose. If, if, we, if we can love ourselves, um, then we can start to love other things around us. Without that, it's very, very difficult. Okay, so you know one of the questions that uh, as well I was going to ask you previously was well was you know you know why is your program so successful? But I mean, um, you know it's it, it, you know it's not just the diet, is it? No, it's not. No, no, no. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, the diet works fantastically, and, 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 and I mean, it's an alkalizing diet. If you put someone in an alkalizing diet when they've got particularly got an acidic diet, normally um, the body will, will, will release body fat very, very quickly, and, and people will drop weight. And, and, and you know, the, the the science behind the the diabetes reversal and things like that is, is all proven. I mean, it, it, there's, there's no there's, there's not there's not a question. There's not not an issue with that. But what is um, you're quite right. Is is it's it's so much so much more than that. In the fact that and this is what I told and said, and you said right at the beginning with it was if people don't change their thoughts, um, and if they don't change their view of themselves, then it's going to be a very very short term thing. Um, oh. Oh. And, 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 and that's not what the aim is. The aim is to get this, this, this longer term and this is to what to get it for life. And, and, and so because, again, if they don't feel better about themselves, then they're not so likely to put the other stuff back into their body again. Diet, diet doesn't become into it then. It really doesn't become into it. If, 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 if you change all the other things, you're not even going to be in a position where you're going to want to eat the stuff. Everything else starts to change around it. Um, yes, but but I mean, obviously, you know, you know, um, changing your your thoughts um, is not always so easy, is it? I mean, um, can it be as simple as you know, you you get a negative uh, thought in your head and just see it, you know, a sort of virtual eraser and, and sort of erase that thought and that and that and that that. that uh, yeah? um, no, not 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 quite as simple as that. Sometimes it, it it's. Um, yeah. People need to look back on. And, and sometimes need to look back over things. Sometimes they don't. They don't have to revisit things. I'm not always a bit of, of the one that would always say that you have to revisit. But sometimes they, they do. I'll, I'll give you an example of somebody recently, um, and they were um, they they put on quite a bit of weight, 
and, and they every time they seemed to try a diet, they didn't seem to lose the weight, and they just couldn't understand it. And it was a, a group session. It was just going on. It was actually talking to somebody else in the group about their situation. And she suddenly says, I've got it. She says, I've worked it out. And what she explained was the fact that she'd been in a um, quite a violent relationship. She'd actually lost a lot of weight. She'd been the ideal weight she wanted to be. And the relationship she was in turned quite nasty and was quite violent. Now, what... Um, what her body did, what her mind did was to protect her was decided, well, don't go back to that weight again because that weight is painful. So every time she started to try and lose weight, she um, would stop it. She'd sabotage it with, with her thoughts and then with, with her actions. Now, by her realizing and suddenly spotting that, she was able to, to smile and, and she was able to see why she, what she'd been doing to herself. Um, and that helped her, and, and she's now now back down to the way that she wanted to be. Uh, and again, as I say, the diet wasn't in question. It was actually to do with her thoughts, and they were what was stopping her. Okay, okay. Um, we, we've got a text in here, well, sorry, an email from uh, Rebecca in Texas, Houston. And she says, in the past two years, I've had episodes where I vomited after having meals. There is no specific type of food that triggers me. However, since I'm slowly turning to a more raw vegan diet, the episodes are stronger and more often when I have cooked food. Why is my body reacting this way? Okay. So she, she's changing more. Did you say to a more raw vegan diet? Is that what you said? That's right, yes. Yes, okay. There's a number. Of, I mean, there's a number of possible things. You've obviously got the. You've got potential in relation to. Um, you know, it, 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 are there illness things that are going on there? And there's the things like that. Is she allergic to some of the things that she's putting in? That's one possible side of it. If we put that to one side, and she goes down and she does the medical checks to make sure that that's not the case that's happening on. The second that time of there is what she's starting to do is actually starting to eat foods she's eating them raw she's getting much more back to nature with what she's actually doing and her body is becoming connected to that what you do is when you when you cleanse and i will say this to people that that, that one of the things is that there's, there's a there's a downside to the downside to cleansing your diet when you cleanse you become a lot lot more sensitive you become a lot lot more sensitive to toxins you become a lot lot more sensitive to 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 other foods and to other things what she's then doing is when she's introducing those other foods back into her, her, her body her body is literally reacting and saying i don't want this this is really not what I what I need. Yeah. What up till then she'd done? She'd eat food. You know, she just ate a normal diet. I, I would imagine, and and her body had had, had not grown immune to them, but it will it will just accept because our body's very good at adapting. Doesn't mean it wants it, but it adapts. But the more she's gone on to a much better diet, the more that it it, it, it it's, it's going to kick out when when bad things are put in. Okay, and and um, let's well okay well. Has the you know, medical profession, firstly, I mean, how how um, acceptable? I mean, how, how have they have they accepted your program? It, uh, yeah, that's a really interesting one. It, over in the states, um, it, it's very well accepted. Um, there's an organisation called the PCRM over there um, that, that promote a lot of this stuff. They are actually all, are made up of physicians, and um, it, it, the American Diabetic Association actually has it in, written in about how well a plant-based diet works for for diabetes, and, and it's really accepted. In the UK, totally different matter altogether. Still not accepted to it, that, that it works, even though there's, there's, there's seven different scientific studies that shows how well it works. Um, still won't won't accept it. But what I'm finding strange is the, the the second largest profession of people that we've had out to visit us this year are doctors and nurses. We are having more and more that are coming out to to visit and to stay with us. Now they are primarily coming to start with. They're coming for their own purposes. They're coming to, to sort their own health out. But, of course, that helps them then, then going forward. Um, the other thing on that is I've, I've actually had, we, we've had now two, two oncologists come out this year who have had patients that have come to us with cancer and have seen how well that they have been getting on, and the oncologists have actually come out to see what we're doing. So there's a, there is a real interest, but at a, at, a, at a top level, no, it's not, not very well accepted at the moment. 
Oh, that's interesting that the, the doctors and some doctors and nurses have come to your, your retreat to sort themselves out. Um, yeah, uh, how, how does that work? I mean, aren't they supposed to be in the know? Well, no, not particularly. I know that sounds silly, but they, that's not what they've, they've not been trained in nutrition at all, and they've not been trained in relation to, to nutritional treatments of their things. They've been treated, it, they've, been, they've been trained in relation to um, giving a medication for, for an illness and, 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 and treating each illness in its, um, on its own rather than looking at, 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 at the whole thing. Um, there's, there's somebody called um, Charlotte Gerson who is very, very famous in, in, in this work and there's a thing called the Gerson Institute. You know, what she turns around and says is that, you know, you can't just treat one thing. If you treat with nutrition, no. you treat everything. It's got to be a mind, body and, and, and spirit, hasn't it? Yes, and you treat every single thing that's going on there. So you don't just turn around and say, well, I just want to treat the diabetes. Treat it with mind, body, spirit, good nutrition, changing everything around. I mean, we, we had this actually in a conversation. We were talking literally in, in a class I was running this week, and we were turning around and saying, you, can, you know what, you can change your diet perfectly, but if you don't change your thoughts as well, then actually you really are going to make it, but you're battling against it because your thoughts also are acidic. If you are putting yourself down, if you are thinking bad thoughts about other people, this is going to cause you a problem. So it, you quite, it, it always has to be at the total level. Okay, Andrew, we'll stay there, and uh, we're just going to take a short back break, sorry, and we'll be back right after this. The Moore Show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. If you like what you watch, then don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates on The Moore Show. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new weekly television and radio shows. The More Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. Welcome back to the show. I'm uh, currently joined here with Andrew West, owner of uh, Obsidian. It's uh, one of the world's top 20 health retreats. And uh, we've been discussing about uh, the work that they do there, from finding your true life purpose to uh, taking control of your diet and health. So, uh, Andrew, welcome back. Oh, well, thank you. So, um, Andrew, uh, with your work that you do as well, you do a lot of work with uh, type 2 diabetics, uh, di diabetes, sorry. Um, uh, and you've ha had said before that uh, either you've either reduced it completely or got, uh, you know, got folks with their medication. Um, what is your program? Yeah, okay. The, the, the main thing about it is, first of all, um, the way that oh, many people look at um, type 2 diabetes is, is, is actually not quite correct. Everybody thinks, or most people think, that type 2 diabetes is all to do with sugar because it's obviously uh, about raised sugar levels, which, which, which is correct. Um, but it's not actually to do, and sugar actually isn't to the issue. What, again, these scientists and what the studies have shown is that the issue is actually fat. And, and, and it is it's just a very, very quick lesson in relation to it. What happens is, is that whenever any of us can eat a meal, um, our sugar levels go up. And what happens is the pancreas um, produces insulin. The cells carry that insulin to the, the, the food, brings down the, the sugar levels, um, and, and it does its trick. On a type 2 diabetic, what happens is the pancreas is still working, is still producing, but in actual fact, the cells are blocked, and they are blocked with fat, so they can't actually do it. What we do is, with our diet, is by giving them juices, by eliminating the, the, the plant-based products, sorry, by eliminating the animal products, by eliminating the meat, the dairy. Um, we even eliminate oils as well. We, we only use our natural things like avocado. Um, what happens is, is that very, very quickly those cells get cleaned. And also what we find, we're also giving people drink a lot of water as well and things like that. So we help to literally cleanse the, the, the whole body. What you find is um, men, it's slightly quicker than ladies, um, but for generally within two, three, four days, they will see a great reduction in, in, in their levels of sugar. 
this will mean that they will have to change their medication or, or come off the medication because the medication isn't 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 required anymore. Um, and then from their ladies, I say it takes a little bit longer just purely because that they have more body fat than, than men. But usually with ladies, it's within a week to 10 days that they come down. And if they then stay on that similar sort of diet, then they won't need to go back on again. If they change their diet and go back again, then obviously the same issues can start to happen again. This is where the, the question comes in about whether the, the disease is, is reversed or whether it's not. What, what, some, what some doctors would turn around and say is, well, if it's going to come back when they go back on their old diet, then you haven't reversed it. You've just hidden the condition, if you like. Um, but That's right. you know, we've got people who have been, you know, have come to us and are now still, two, you know, two years down the line and still off their medication and have never gone back on. Wow. And and, and it works really, it works very very quickly, and it's and it is it is very very simple. It's not a difficult thing at all. Well, tell us some of the best results that uh, that you've had over the past few years. Yeah, I mean, we've had some, some really amazing results, um, and, and that's what's helped us to, to, to grow. Um, but, I mean, it was... It, it, I'll, give, I'll give you a couple of examples. There was, there was a guy um, by the name of, of Steve that came to us. Now, Steve had um, been a type 2 diabetic for 12 years. He was a fair bit overweight. Um, and he actually was somebody... I, I, I like people that come like that. He came along very cynical. He'd done a lot of research, but he was very cynical about the program and how it would be. Um, really wasn't fancy in not eating meat and dairy and things like that. Just thought, um, you know, but I'll give it a go. And he gave it a go on, and on. I think it was on day three or day four, he literally came in and he said, my sugars are at a normal level. And we just nodded and said, yes, that's what we'd expect. And he said, yeah, but you don't understand them. You know, they've not been at that level for 12 years. So he, he, we have a nurse on site, and we're talking with the nurse. He, he, cut, he stopped his medication. Um, he left us, and he'd lost, um, about, he lost about a stone and a half in, a, in, in ten, I think it was 10 days or 12 days he was with us. Um, but he went away, and he just stuck at it, and he's still at it now today. He's lost now, and he's about three and a half stone, and he's been off the medication for about 18 months. But what I always say about Steve is, and, 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 and now he's actually become quite a, quite a friend, and you know, he's friend, you know, friends with some of the other members of his family. In fact, his wife is out with us at this moment in time. Um, is that it's changed everything in his life? It's changed his relationship. It's changed his business. It's changed everything about him. And this is what I was saying about it, from how it affects on everything from there. He thinks totally differently now, um, and he realizes that he was in this fog and that fog has lifted and, and, and has cleared um, and I, I, I mean that, that's just one one particular example and I can just give you so so many more particularly with the type 2 diabetes but also the same with weight loss as well because when people start to lose the weight it, it, it makes such a massive difference to their lives well yeah I mean you know it's um it's, it's a life-changing, uh, uh, you know, thing, isn't it? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, you know, I know people that have had the, 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 is it the gastric bypass? Yeah. What's your thought on something like that? I mean, I mean, is that fixing the spiritual parts? Hmm. Or does it does it lead? It, does it, can, well, it, can, it, can an operation like, like that lead to, uh, you know, a spiritual uh, awakening? In some ways, it can, it could do. In some ways. Um, purely because what you will find is with, with some people um, is that it changes what and how. Now, in one way, it is compulsory. It changes what they eat. Um, so what they find is, I mean, there is some examples of it. In fact, it is one of the cases that is put up by the, the, the Diabetes UK at the moment. They turn around and say, you know, have a gastric bypass because it, it, it and they use the word reverse, it, it reverses diabetes. Um, Actually, the jury's still out on that. It does it to start with, but what they're finding down the line that actually some people are, are becoming type 2 diabetics again. But there is another thing with it, is, and, and, and I think one of the biggest problems with the gastric bypass, from, from what I've seen, is, 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 and I've experienced it a number of times with people, is that, that although they, it, is a, it, it only fixes one part of the problem, and that they actually a lot don't get their head sorted as well. So they, they, they start to lose, they lose the weight. But they, um, in their head, they can still be a, a, a large person, or in their head, 
they still can be exactly as they were before. And this this thing called they are really out of balance then, and this then really causes them a problem. The other thing is, if they are still not getting a good level of nutrition into their body, um, and they're not getting a good, you know, we all need whatever your beliefs are. We all need a good source of nutrition. We all need plants and, and vegetables and some fruit and things in our diet um, because we need it at a cellular level. If they're not getting that, then it, it then it, it's it's not going to help them on, on their on their spiritual path. Do you think though that uh, weight gain? Um, you know, can not just be down to uh, the foods we eat, yet we're eating those foods as as comfort for a li- uh, for a life that we're not really happy with deep down. And there's other yeah, issues, think, uh, relationships, for example, they play a big part in you know if if we're at a deeper level with the wrong person, can or, or jobs as well, you know, relationships with work and you know can that uh, be a factor. Yes, I, I, I really seriously believe that, that it can. That you you've got many you've got many many aspects going on, but I, that that is that that is one side. I mean, it 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 is so much easier now to to overeat without even knowing that you're overeating. But the the comf, you know the comfort foods are just so so available now, and and, and it's just there. So it just you're quite right. As I say, when somebody is, is is not happy, then it's just very easy to to turn to those different foods. And if you ask somebody why, um, you know, oft, often the reason they're there that they actually give is, 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 is not even often about hurting somebody else. It is either to numb the pain or yeah. they're actually doing it because they want to feel some pain by hurting themselves is, is, in, in a roundabout way is, is, is a way of um, not facing the problem but actually putting the problem onto something else. God, I never thought of it like that. Yeah, like a self-inflicted... Uh, back to this whole, you know, I don't love myself, I'm not worthy um, um, yeah. concept, yeah, yeah, idea, yeah. Um, obviously, the, the food companies out there have a, a, a role to play in, in, in this as well. I mean, you know, prepackaged, cheap, um, easy to microwave meals, I mean, they're all available, aren't they, at such low cost prices? Um, you know, does the food authorities have an, you know, should they, uh, t- you know, have, have a, a, not just a role to play, but, you know, uh, should they be in the firing line really for make you know, for causing some of these issues with people, making them so readily available? Yes, is, is a simple answer to that. I, I mean, let, 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 let's be honest about this. And I've had this conversation now with, with a number of different people. If, if you just look at the situation, whether you look at it in the UK, whether you look at it in the States or, or actually nearly all Western countries now, we have a situation that is going on that is unsustainable. We have a situation now where illnesses um, that, that such as diabetes and heart disease and cancer and, 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 and all the things in relation to like that that are, are increasing at an epidemic rate. I mean, nobody is as expected. The predictions keep being rising of how, what they're going to go up to. What they have said is, is that, and again, it depends on which study you read, but within 15 to 20 years, this will bankrupt the health service. It's already putting it under great strain. Is that serious, so, yeah? So something, something has to change. And at the moment, there are the things that are being put forward. You actually know, one of the examples you gave was gastric bypass is being put forward as one of the solutions. Well, there isn't enough surgeons in the country to do the amount of gastric bypass it would have to do to even have a slight effect on it. It, it would, it, you know, the, the numbers that are being done is, is, is a tiny, tiny blip on the amount. It doesn't even cover one percent of the people that are being diagnosed with type, type, type two diabetes each year, let alone the ones that have already had it. No, no. And so, you know, th- this 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 is something of such a, a massive. Um, massive level that yes the food companies um government there has to be a total change has to be Mm. because it it, it can't it can't continue on no no and um uh, you know i i I, I, i'm trying to draw this this back back into the spiritual realms as well um yeah i understand that and um well, I, 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 I guess you know, uh, you know, for those listening, you know, the benefits of um, coming closer to 
a spiritual lifestyle in a sense what 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 that would mean i suppose is you know again like we've mentioned many times here now you know loving oneself you know having a connection with others uh, what would you say are some of the things that would that 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 would be of beneficial with the spiritual side yeah okay yeah, I mean, I've, you know, I've just p- painted such a black picture there. Let, let's put a positive side on it, and there is a positive <laughs> side. I'm seeing more and more people who are making changes, and I'm having there's more and more people who are, are getting connection. What I then find is, is uh, let's, just, uh, let's give a couple of examples. I, I know of, of, of three people that, uh, that have since have been out, since they've done our program, have gone back, and they have set up... Um, clubs or, or groups where they can help and support other people and and we're seeing that seems to be rising so that people are getting more and more connected not only when once they start to love themselves once they start to get a connection with themselves that they then want to pass that love on to others that's the way that things will change because they then start to get a care not only for people, they start to get a caring for animals, they start to get a care for the world around them, and they start to get a caring at a spiritual level. That is how things will change. I'm absolutely certain of that. It has to start. So it starts with one person, and it starts with that one person cleansing their diet, loving themselves, getting a connection, and then from there, then they'll start to pass it on to other people. Has if, to be that way. if that individual is ready, yes. Yeah. If that individual is ready, yeah. yeah and there's no, oh, yes, there's yes. no finish line for them to be ready, is there? If it's got to come from them, if 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 they're not ready for it, well, you know, they will be one uh, well, at some point, um, maybe another life. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, um, yeah. How can people get in contact with yourself for um, more information on the? Uh, on uh, obsidian sorry yeah no problem i mean uh, uh, the, the the web address is um obsidian retreat obsidian is o b s i d i a n obsidian which is obviously a crystal it's obsidianretreat.com um they can contact me personally on and andrew at obsidianretreat.com um and, and, and I, you know, I ha- was happy to answer questions, and, and, and if I can't help, I'll, I'll point them in the direction of, 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 of where, where hopefully they can get help. Um, but yeah, as I say, that's the best way of getting in contact with us. Excellent. Well, Andrew West, thank you so much for your time tonight. No problem at all. Thank you. It's been thank a pleasure. you. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, well, stay tuned as our next guest is Eugene Brexton uh, regarding the uh, near-death experience. Um, So we will put uh, Andrew's details on our website and we'll be back right after this break. Visit themoreshow.co.uk forward slash shop to purchase products and services from your favourite past guests. If you're new to this site, you can also catch up on the previous television and radio shows through YouTube and The More Show website. 